Hi, good evening to you both. Yeah, we were there as Silva's mom came here to the North Brantford Police Department this afternoon to post her son's $15,000 bond. Now we spoke with Silva himself as he was walking out and he says this whole thing was an accident. I'm not going to say none. It was an accident. It was an accident. That's all it was. 51 year old Arnaldo Silva leaving the North Brantford Police Department with his mom after posting his second bond of the week. There's another warrant served for you that's going to be served right now. We were there in court this morning as police arrested him for violating the terms of his initial release when he was charged on Wednesday with animal cruelty and threatening in the second degree. Is there anything you'd like to say about the charges against you? Charges against me? Yeah. What charges? North Brantford police say officers were called to Silva's Woodvale Drive home in Northford Monday night just before 1130. It initially came in as a domestic dispute. Then police learned about the alleged assault on his daughter's two-year-old bulldog, Diesel. They entered the residence. They located uh, immediately a blood trail leading back to the uh, what ended up being the father's bedroom. Deputy Chief James Lovely says police found Silva with cuts on his face covered in blood. Then Diesel was found dead. Investigators also found a bloody kitchen knife in his cage. They say they could tell Silva was under the influence. I tripped. I fell into my wall. I tripped over him. He's always around my feet. I drank too much and I fell off. Silva posted his court set $5,000 bond on Wednesday, but that night, police got another call. We responded and then the officers applied for the arrest warrant. Lovely says the warrant issued in court Thursday morning was for abusing substances again. Meanwhile, Silva's daughter, Diesel's owner, is asking for justice for her baby boy. What about to your daughter? She's hurt. Now, police tell us Silva is no stranger to them as they have responded to his home more than 20 times in recent years. Now, he is expected to be back in court tomorrow, or at least he has a court date tomorrow. We'll follow up on that as well. Plus, coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll hear from a neighbor who says he's sick of all this activity right outside his home. We're live here in North Brantford tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.